Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Back here with a continuation of my Thief Gold playthrough on Expert Difficulty. If you haven't seen any other videos in this series, I highly recommend it. Today we're going to be doing Song of the Caverns, once again on Expert Difficulty. Now, the objectives here are kind of a bait and switch. So, we have to find the Talisman of Water, that's true. But, when we actually get down to the caverns, we're going to find that the Talisman was moved. So basically, we're going to start out here, and we're going to swim through some caverns and avoid some craymen, and then we're going to make our way to the Opera House, which is going to be heavily guarded by lots of guards, so we're going to want some water arrows and moss arrows, as well as some flash bombs and gas arrows for when we um, need to take out some guards, and we can't get right next to them, so let's get into it. <sighs> Now the beginning of this mission is going to be pretty linear right here. As you can see, we're going to make our way down into the tunnel. Uh, really not much to um, say or to do other than just keep moving forward. There's not really a lot of options. Once we get to the Opera House, then some options will be presented to us about how we want to tackle the mission, but it's pretty much just the A to B scenario right now. That's Jiri. Guess I'm not Foreman. getting any in. Uh, he got uh, webbed by spiders, so... Fate I would not Geary wish on my worst all. enemy, that's for sure. A couple of little spiders here, you don't have to take them out, but I'm gonna have all these uh all these broadhead arrows I'm not gonna use them, so might as well use a couple. As I said before, um, the tunnels are populated by the like, Craymen, those you know, crab looking dudes who can be knocked out or they can be killed. Um, there's really no reason to like fight them or get into a huge battle with them. If you can't knock them out, then I would just run away, which is what you're going to see me do here. I try to be sneaky and try to knock them out, but unsuccessfully, but there's no, they can't swim, they can't follow you through anything and through the tunnels and you don't have to come back here, so there's no reason to get into a extended fight with them if you can't. You can't sneak past them or knock them out, just run away. Just to uh, fill some time here while I swim through the tunnels, um, you can hit long point in time without commentary. This is probably one of my favorite missions in the game for sure, one of my favorites in the series. Probably my top three. Uh, I just love the layout of the, um, the Opera House, which we're going to see here in a little bit. Um, just has a cool design, you know, lots of options, lots of ways, lots of secret entrances and exits and hidden loot, and that's what really makes a Thief mission. I've talked about this in other videos but you know giving the player options lots of secrets you know lots of things to steal because it's really fun to just pick up loot in this game uh that little jingle that it makes and you know the design and all that so definitely one of my favorites in the game i would say maybe i would say the swords maybe the only mission i think that tops this one i just love it between Raoul and Valerius That's the, the crazy, uh, the city at night. crazy Raoul guy who's going to give us the key in the map to the uh, opera, house opera house. Sings to the Lady Valerius, I, Raoul, do accuse you of using treachery to obtain your wealth. 
uh, the Lady Valeria sings. I, Lady Valeria, have obtained the Opera House, yes. Right from under your nose, you must kiss the ground underneath my toes. Now, I live here under the Opera, but I go back, stealing food and such as I need. She can't kick me out, not Raoul. <laughs> then they come down, looking for spiders, but they found the treasure from the shrine instead. Now she has that, too. I've seen her with it. It has powers. You... You could steal it from her, yes. That would make her sad. Let's see. What would she sing? Ah, I know. Lady Valerius, weeping in her chamber, uh, sings... I, Lady Valerius, am so, so sad. Where has the treasure gone that once made me glad? You need a map? Alright, there we go. A there's the key, and you there's key. the map to the upper house. You can get that too from me. So you can see, you know, kind of just a straight path there, up to the tunnel, and then the basement, the first floor, second floor, and the third Remember, floor. Remember, I'll left at the sewer, to the right might look newer than blue. Knock him out, because he's kind of blocking the rope. Um, that happens the sometimes in this mission, down. and there's no penalty for knocking him out. You don't have to do anything really with him, I just am knocking him out. So there's the updated objectives. We have to uh, raid the ticket office, get the silver flute, get um, 2,000 in loot, and of course the talisman, which is our main objective here, and obviously get out without killing anybody, as is uh, traditional expert difficulty. Coming up here, there's two different ways you can go. You can go to the left and go um, into the basement, and you can get in that way, or you can go to the right, which is what I'm doing right here, and this will lead you out onto the street, but then you can go through the front entrance of the opera house. So I wanted to do that just because most of the time that I do this mission, I do go through the basement, but I wanted to just mix it up and go through the front door, which was kind of a mistake as you'll see because I underestimated how noisy some of these floys, floors are. Floys, I almost said floys, oh boy. So yeah, some of these floors are pretty noisy and uh, I'm gonna see, uh, I gotta kind of get caught here at the very beginning which is not super ideal. I some resources this early but my ethos as anybody that's watched the series knows is you know, above all else I like to you know, not save scum. I like to live with the mistakes and live with the decisions that I make when I play. I find it more fun. So if I'm an idiot or if I get caught or, you know, what have you, unless it's mission fail, you know, I'm going to keep going. I'll find you. Damn you. Just you wait till I find you. Now, I probably could have gotten away with this here because they didn't actually see me. Um, I was worried that they would and I should have just let them go. But I was worried that once the guard got right next to me, he was going to see me. Because sometimes they do. Um, sometimes they'll bump into you and they'll see you, which is obvious because they bumped into you. But sometimes they'll bump into you and they won't know you're there. So that was a time where I probably could have gotten away with it. But I kind of panicked. And uh, I went for that guard and I knocked the one out, but couldn't knock out the other. That's another thing too, um, you know, now that we're in the actual opera house, this is like the no lobby ways. or whatever, but um, the first floor is Seems probably one of the hardest because there's not a lot of carpet here on the first floor and it's pretty noisy, so I mean it's not as heavily guarded as some of the upper floors, but there's not a lot of space to really hide in terms of noise. The game doesn't give you um, really a huge number of moss arrows. I think it only gives you around 10 or 11 if you buy all of them at the beginning, so you're kind of limited there on uh, masking your sound. Right there oh, is that? the uh, ticket office. So this is going to be one of the objectives: is to search the search the uh, box of the ticket office that you're going to see here. Not that one, the other one. This 
so one down, uh, three more objectives to go. So um, this mission has a fair amount of loot, I think. It's almost, we need 2,000, and I, I believe that the maximum number of loot in the mission is about 2,800 or so. So they give you a fair amount of, of leeway in this mission to miss stuff. You don't have to scrounge for every last piece of gold. We're going to get pretty close here, I think. Um, I didn't grab everything. The only mission so far that I've gotten everything in this playthrough is uh, Mage Tower. Um, if you watched my Mage Tower video, I did get all the loot in that, and I was really happy. But this, I think we get close. I think well, I maybe only missed like one piece of loot here. Basement's guarded, but it's pretty big, and the guards are usually spaced pretty far apart from each other, so it's not super difficult here in the basement. Um, this little kind of that little prop or that little you know piece of scenery right there, you can just you can hide bodies in. So that's what I'm gonna do here. No knockouts in this mission, I mean, doesn't work. I mean, you can theoretically you can theoretically do it, but I didn't want to, you know, aim for no knockouts or minimum knockouts because there's a lot of backtracking in this mission, you know, for the for a, a lot of it, you know, going back and forth to rooms and stuff. And um, I just felt like it would be easier to knock guards out. So I basically been kind of throwing that rule out the window. I know this playthrough's been going on, but it just felt like it was more appropriate for this mission. I think some of these missions weren't really designed for, for ghosting, you know? I think that, you know, it's a viable play style, but the game doesn't always lend itself, I think, to be the most fun and authentic when you're ghosting. It's more of a, you know, a special challenge, but um, this mission was just not, I knew that it wasn't gonna happen, especially with how long it is. This is one of the longer missions in the game. All the gold missions are, are pretty long so but I knew going into this one that it was gonna be pretty difficult to ghost for just the, the sheer size of the mission thought I saw something no. No. <clears throat> here's another secret passage here you can climb up through the furnace um, another thing, I mentioned that earlier, but just to reiterate on that, it's another great thing I love about this mission is there's a lot of secret uh, secret entrances and exits up and down the floors mostly, um, and this is one of them, so there's plenty of loot in this room here, there's two golden, uh, golden candlesticks and then the totem on the floor. This room you have to be super careful because this room is lit up very, very well. Um, there's no like darkness at all to hide in this room, and the floor makes a lot of noise. So definitely recommend caution. You can see there, I would have been okay, but he was walking right through just as I was timing it, so that kind of threw me off. But you know, you can do what I did right there, and you can climb in that hole. Obviously, the guard he doesn't have a projectile, he doesn't have a bow, and he can't reach me, so he's gonna you know freak out and run around and try to like find another way to get me basically two, uh, two civilians here two uh, attendants of the opera but most of the civilians in this mission have either um, a piece of jewelry on them or they have like a gold pouch so you definitely want to pick their pockets or knock them out because a lot of I think most of them if not all of them are carrying some kind of loot and you're gonna see coming up right here one of the coolest moments uh, I think that I've you know recorded so far. Um, and that's bam right there, three guards with one gas arrow. That's pretty. That's pretty freaking cool. I don't think I've gotten. I think the most guys I've ever gotten with the gas arrow is two, just because it's hard to. If a guard walks into another guard, usually they'll they'll run the you know they'll find a different way to go around you know like when they their paths meet. You know, they'll look a different way, but those guys all got clumped together, so and you can see more uh, reinforcements. I forgot how many, you know, guards there were uh, on the upper floor. Um, that's a lot, too. They, they must have gotten alerted from the original guard that was in this room right here. 
because normally um, normally the guards on that on the third floor don't really care not that they don't care but they usually not are not aware of what's going on on the second floor so that was very uh, surprising to me that we got the full uh, full squad of reinforcements down there and that guards all the other guards kind of decided to give up and go away, but that one guard was still looking at me and was like shaking his fist, so I had to climb down here. And I just decided, since I didn't finish the basement, you know, I didn't fully loot this basement, um, that I was going to come back down here and just loot it anyway, while the guards, you know, on the third floor, on the second floor, are going through like their alert routine. So instead of just waiting for them to go back to normal, um, I was going to take care of what I had to do here before before I went back up. room is basically just like an inventory uh, kind of supply room right there so gas mine two fire arrows and a couple of flash bombs so really really good stuff there I mean there's nobody uh, who can't use a you know a gas mine or a flash bomb provided you're not ghosting or doing sort of some sort of no items run the basement's not not the most confusing like room in the game certainly but it's kind of confusingly laid out because um, it's not symmetrical um, most of this opera house is, is asymmetrical actually a lot of the floors and a lot of the sort of like rooms and stuff so it's a little bit confusing because you can't just kind of organically go like oh I was on this side now I'm gonna go over here and uh, you know some of the tiling changes so it's kind of a confusing layout, but it's not the worst, but it's just not, it's not exactly, um, it's not the easiest room to, rooms to navigate in the game, I would say. As usual, the uh, fireplace is a hidden passage. Um, I should like I should keep track or keep a keep a hidden fireplace counter for how many times this happens in the series. It's kind of a it's kind of a trope, but I still love it every single time. I actually get more disappointed when there's not a secret fireplace because honestly, the ratio might be in favor of, of secret fireplaces and not secret fireplaces. Especially for some, especially for this mission and some of the other ones. The other side to the you know the one we climbed up earlier hello anyone there Guess not huh? is someone there Grab all the gold there on the counter and also the food too.
So it's actually the bath I was looking for, but it's not it's not really necessary. Um, there's just some water arrows there, but to be honest, like this mission is probably tilted more in favor of electric lights that you can't turn out than it is torch torches. Actually, the basement here is probably the most useful area for for water arrows because there's big stretches there that there's just a torch and you can just hide in the darkness, but it's really not super necessary to use water arrows in this mission. There's only a few parts. I think most of the upper floors are going to be, you know, electric lights in, in a lot of places. You kind of have to just make do with whatever darkness is naturally in the level. gas mine there. I was worried this civilian was gonna trip it and not the guard and the guard was gonna get me there but no such uh, no such unfortunateness happened. Make sure to loot this room, those three plates and then the goblet there. Those other plates you can take but they're not loot for some reason. And to the left. Not there. say to the left back there right here yeah the very left at the end of this hallway is the guard office so or the guard station um, which you should avoid I think there's some supplies in there but it's not I think it's like broadhead arrows and maybe some water arrows it's not anything necessary for the mission I don't think there's any loot like gold in there as far as I know um, but yeah so definitely avoid that area only really going to come into play if you walk in there by mistake or a guard or civilian runs in there to alert the guards which i haven't seen happen but i'm sure that it can knowing this game and knowing all the different dynamic things that can happen with the ai Grab the uh, vase off the shelf there with a pretty, uh, pretty penny. And see, I wasted a flash bomb there. I had it highlighted while I meant to hit the button. So, whoops, it happens. That's where I took the one guard earlier. This is like another way up to get from the basement to the to the first floor. Someone behind me? Is that you? What? Now like we're kind of in like the backstage area. You're gonna see like parts of the the stage, like the sandbags and stuff like that. So that's kind of where when we're at from an actual, like, you know, it. level geometry standpoint, or behind the stage of the opera house. This part, when you climb up here to the, like the rafters, you want to be super careful because this is all metal and it's well, you know one of the noisiest 
things you can walk across in the game, so the guards will be instantly alerted, and they'll know exactly where you are. Um, him, I'm able to get him uh, because I climb up the ladder, and the ladder doesn't really make noise, so that gives me like some kind of room, some kind of cover there. Um, but there's usually two guards that are up here, like on the rafters, like patrolling. So you want to want to keep that in mind. He was just there. Where is he? backstage basically you just want to jump you know as you saw me do you want to jump from the rafter like across and you'll be like you know on the second floor uh, backstage about Ben. That door that you just saw me open up with the key would have let us out to the main hallway, but I still want to do some exploring here to gather some loot before I proceed forward down like sort of the main the main way. I believe this is the room uh, where the silver flute is. And, yep, it is in that safe right there on the left. Knock these guys out. And the key, um, you're gonna see me try the lock here. The key actually for the safe is like on the third floor, I think. It's on like the main objective where the talisman is. So you'll you'll see it because there's two keys in that main room. I'll point it out when we get there, but you have to go there first to get the key for the safe. to see this stuff. So yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. The first floor really has no carpet, but at least here on the, you know, the second and third floor, you have this little bit of carpet that you can walk across. And obviously the opera box is here, which is where we're at right now. Um, are carpeted completely, so this is a lot easier than having to sneak through like the hard marble floor. Oh, well, 
nothing. <laughs> so? Was that you? Nothing making noise now. Who's there? I think at this point I don't really have any other uh, gadgets or any sort of way to knock him out. I don't have any flash bombs or gas arrows, so basically at this point don't we move. have to uh, we have to run if we get caught since we can't fight, and uh, we have to run and then hopefully try to hide and unaggro the enemies. So this is a good space right here. There is a secret there. You know, you have to you know, use your sword to slash the map. And this leads down to the basement, I believe. No, actually, not the basement, the first floor. What? Just one of many ways you can get around this level. You can, you know, take the take that way, secret passage on the first floor, up to the third floor. You know, you can go in through the basement and then you can go up the furnace. You can go, you know, through the basement, then up the stairs, you know, to the stage. So just one of the things that makes this mission so fantastic, besides just the you know, the great theme of the mission, you know, robbing the opera house is just cool. Lots of loot to steal and Everything that makes a classic thief mission. see me trying to avoid a repeat incident of what we had earlier with I think the same guard who was the one that walked in on me as I was shooting down Moss there was to try to sneak across that room so I kind of got my revenge there 30 minutes later <sighs> oh what a surprise it's a false fireplace who would have thought that's the third time just in this mission See that piece of loot right there off that guy's belt, that, you know, bracelet, I think, or necklace, tiara, something like that, that put us over the 2,000 mark. So that objective is complete. We've raided the uh, ticket office. Now we just have to get the flute and obviously get the talisman, which is what we came in for. Yeah. <sighs> 
it's actually kind of a stroke of luck by me right here. This is actually exactly where I needed to go, and I was mostly just finding a way to get around the guard and then circle uh, back here, but it was a nice, uh, nice unintentional choice to take this route because this is exactly, this is the main room where you get the key to the the safe with the silver flute and also the water talisman, so this is the room you're going to want to look for. key to the chest there is right on the table. objectives. So this room right here, nice you want that bonus. yellowish, greenish yellowish key. Once you get all the uh, all the items that you need, uh, all you have to do is walk right out the front door. You're good. You don't have to swim back through the tunnels or anything like that. So not too much of a, a walk, relatively. Some of these extra missions really have you backtrack through big portions of the level or the whole level entirely. Before I go right here, I just wanted to steal a couple of things. I'm right here. I want to, I just was, you know, just going to go out the front door at this point, so I've already kind of cleared the way a little bit from the very beginning. It's going to be uh, mission complete right there after we left the front door. So as you can see right there, uh, actually missed about 350, give or take 350, 400 around there. So that's going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all are having a wonderful, uh, wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this and stay tuned for the next part of the Thief Expert, uh, Thief Gold Expert playthrough I should say, uh, Undercover. So take care.